Hi guys, my name is Megan McDowell, and I'm going to be going over a book with you in just a moment. First of all, let me lay the foundation for this book. It is one of thousands of renditions of the art of war. There is one thing that makes this book different than all the other renditions. Times have changed, days have changed, the ages change, we've become a more accepting world globally. So at this point, you know, there's a lot of people that are now stepping into fields that they never had the chance to before. One of the major minorities to start stepping into fields, corporate business, CEOs, CFOs, those glass ceilings getting broken down, of course, women. So, Chin Ning Chu made a guide, The Art of War for Women which breaks down exactly how females can not only survive but thrive in the business world. I read through this book and I'm actually pretty impressed. I enjoy light reading as you can see, but this book actually impressed me because it went over a lot of different topics. Not only did it stay true to The Art of War by Sun Tzu, but it broke it down into a modern day era where we can actually use this in the workplace. It first goes over the five different elements that you would be going over in Sun Tzu's book as it is. Uh, you go over knowing yourself, your moral standing and your ethics, which we call Tao. And the next one is Tian, which means timing. D, terrain and resources. Yang, leadership, and fa, which means managing. When we break this down in the very beginning, I am very impressed by that because the first thing she breaks down is what we need to know. What do we really want out of life? How are we supposed to know where we're going to go unless we know our own moral compass? Once we've built upon what's most important to us with our moral compass, we have to ask, where do we really want to be in life? Well, thanks to her book, she sets out a great saying to get us to really start looking at who we are and what we really want to be doing. She asks us one of two things. She asks us whether we want to be wearing the combat boots or the glass slippers. I mean, CEO of the business world, or take care of a family. Both of them are actually very, very good roles to take in life. But she's opening us up to realizing that you can't be wearing glass slippers and combat boots at the same time. That you need to balance exactly what you want and understand something is going to give. Either you're not going to make it all the way up to CEO if you want to have a family, or if you're going to have a family, understand that that's an okay thing. If you're going to be a CEO, however, understand that you will make your family suffer because of the time that you have to dedicate. So I love that she opens up her book like this because it's definitely an eye-opener. Along with that, you get different workbooks in here to break things down so you know exactly where you want to be and what you want to do with your life. I mean, she's very good at that with the timing. I'm going to try to pull one out. Reflections. I don't know if you can see that here. Reflections. At the end of different moments, she will sit there and ask you reflections on what she's went over. Strengths and weaknesses, there's some of mine which I find is really good to keep you involved with the book and keep your attention span going. Once you've gone through the very beginning of the book, she starts breaking down scenarios that all of us face in the workplace at one point or another. She goes over scenarios like some of the heavier issues that females deal with in the common workplace, being degradation, sexual molestation, and how to plan to stop these situations, how to make these situations stop. She also goes through situations that females deal with when dealing with other females. Believe it or not, females, when working with other females and seeing a female succeed, 
want to pull that female down. They don't want to see that female actually succeed. It's a very common situation, but this book actually tells you a strategy to pull yourself away from the fire, firing range, per se, on this. When you break down other things, we go into corporate situations. We go into just dealing with other business entities and the fact that we have to come out on top. Well, we go over terrain and resources in the book. So she breaks down different scenarios based on the words of Sun Tzu on the corporate world and how these terrains that Sun Tzu pulled out come to fruition in the corporate world and how to best act in those situations. There's a lot more details along with this, but I can definitely say, as well put as it is, it's not only based on whether you're a female or not, but a lot of the self-reflect of the foundations that it builds really, really helps a female become empowered to realize there is no glass ceiling unless you believe there is one. The problems are lack of skill, bad timing, lack of moral ethics, a lot of those things that get in the way, which I, I give respect to her about because once you don't see that glass ceiling anymore, you don't have the excuses to hold you back. So I would definitely recommend this book, not only as a read for females, but anybody who's really stepping into the business world and wants to open their minds to the change going on in the world. This is definitely a good book. Handbook aside, you've got a lot of really good points. When you get into the strategy of the terrain, anyone can use that. It, it may be one other rendition, but it's a modern day rendition which definitely can start putting our female minds in the right place. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and 